Okolia Hinze, a 500-level student of the Obafemi Awoloa University, OAU, Ileife, has been beaten to death over alleged theft. It was gathered that the deceased was beaten to death inside the Awo Hall. The student was said to have been rushed to the Obafemi Awoloa University Teaching Hospital, Ileife, after complications, but doctors on duty confirmed him dead when he was brought to the accident and emergency unit of the hospital. The student was alleged to have stolen a mobile phone at the Awo Hall. The management of the school has condemned in strong terms the incident that led to the death of the Part 5 student of the institution. In a release by the public relations officer of the university, Abiodun Larewadru, he stated that a preliminary investigation revealed that the student died of a mob action on the allegation that he stole a phone. Saddened by the development, which he described as unfortunate, the Vice-Chancellor, Professor Adebayo Bamire, set up a committee to unravel the circumstances that led to the incident. Also, the management of Ekiti State University, EXU, has stopped academic activities in the institution for two weeks. This followed an early morning protest by students of the institution over a 5,000 Naira late registration levy imposed on them by the institution. The angry students shut the school gate, preventing both lecturers and students from gaining entry into the premises to express dissatisfaction with the levy. They also barricaded all roads leading to the university. The students frowned upon the imposition of the late registration fees in face of hike in their school fees, even as they have just a few weeks to start their examination. In a statement by EXU Head Directorate of Information and Corporate Affairs, Bode Olofi Mwagun, the Vice Chancellor directed all students to vacate the campus immediately, warning that any student found wandering around the university premises will be taking a risk. Olofi Mwagun said the decision was sanctioned by the institution's Vice Chancellor, Professor Edward Olani Pekun, and that it takes effect from Wednesday.